You're listening to Venusel Insights, where we bring you valuable information on accelerating business value, business transitions, employee engagement, visual process mapping, self-awareness, and entrepreneurial excellence. Hello, everyone. This is Kevin with Venusel. Today, we're talking with Michelle Boyson of Patank C out of South Africa. Patank is a business consulting partner that specializes in visual strategy and visual process mapping using a tool they created called VizPro. They also work in many other areas, partnering with their clients to build strength and value in every aspect of their business. Good morning, Michelle. How are you doing today? Fabulous. It's a public holiday tomorrow in uh, South Africa. And uh, it feels like like we're having two Fridays this week, so I've got that Friday feeling. It's close of business for me to buy at this time, so feeling good. What can you tell us about Patank? How did you start Patank? It actually pretty much happened by itself. Um, I, I, by nature, like to understand how things work, and I like also to create order out of chaos. So um, for many years, I wrote business plans for, for clients. Um, I was, my first company was called Action Link. The, the link particularly focusing on, um, in order to get stuff done, you needed to have action. So I was that link between thought and things happening. Um, so I, I enjoyed the business of writing business plans. And in doing so, you, you it's, it's like a story. And the more you you build the business plan, the more you get into what's happening there. So what, what ended up happening is that I would, uh, when you, especially when you come to the financial um, the projections and, and the cash flows and so forth, then you've got to pretty much understand, kind of visualize what's going to happen in that factory or what's going to happen in that shop. Um, so I started drawing just by hand the processes that would, would happen within that space um, and then put a number around that and say, you know, you're going to need two people to be able to do um, these activities uh, and that would then go into the budget. So about four years after um, I started this uh, budgeting uh, via process uh, system, um, I was introduced to a fairly large petroleum company um, who was looking at just understanding um what was happening in a new system that was implemented in, in a depot. So most of the guys couldn't really understand, uh, you know, it's a completely new system. Um, I switched on the computer, and in those days, it was, there was still those big clunky computers, and there's, there's a blue thing on the screen that you've got to click, and you go into a system, and then you've got to start saying, how much am I loading, how much am I transferring, how much went out the gate, and so forth. And... And the interesting thing was is that in the petroleum industry, it's very rich with 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 all sorts of uh, acronyms. Um, so for the first two or three weeks, I had, I've literally felt like I had had landed in a foreign uh, environment. I couldn't understand what they were talking about. And the best way to understand what they were trying to to convey to me was to start drawing pictures again. And those pictures morphed into into processes. So in the end, the project was about doing the step-by-step process of, of, of actually deploying this new system. And um, then somebody saw this and said, my word, what you're doing is amazing. A picture is worth a thousand words. Um, and I suppose that's actually the start of Patank. It's um, simply because what we did or what I did got people's attention and then said, well, can we have more of that? And uh, that more of that meant um, having to to be less manual and go go more more uh, desktop or laptop uh, focused. Um, and then the actual name of the tank arrived when, um, in fact, the, the person that brought me into this petroleum company, um, she then became my eventually became my my business partner. And at some point in that year. I was uh, on holiday in the Maldives and I saw this game being played um, called Patank. So I saw these people, very enjoyable and amicable game of these big silver balls and wow, that looks like really like fun. Can I play too? So I played with him, learned a little bit about the game. And at that stage, I just we just came up 
when I came back, I said to my partner, I think I've got a name for for this business that we're running. Um, it was called something different before, but here's the name. I think this would work well because in Patank, you have basically, you have got a goal that you're, that you're uh, striving to achieve. And that goal is you've got to hit the little oak ball with the bigger steel balls. So that's the goal that you're reaching with your business or with what we want, want to bring to business. And then the big balls would be the, be the, the tactics or the, or the strategies or the activities that would happen to get closer to that, to that objective. And that's basically how Patong started. And uh, then, then we had to, to have more people do what I do. So we train people and that's basically how it grew. Today you're using the brand VizPro. Can you share with us how your process and all the work you were doing eventually culminated in the brand VizPro? Well, it's, it's actually, it, 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 it got a name uh, probably about two years into, into us doing what, um, actually commercially selling, selling my skills um, I had employed one additional person who would be the capturer. So instead of me doing everything, we were now two. Um, and then we, we deployed another two people and then another two people. And at some point we thought, sure, we better give this thing a name because, um, you know, process mapping is like uh, process mapping. Let's make it fun and light. And so that's when we came up with the name VisPro. Um, and VisPro is really short for visual processes. Uh, the Z was put in there to, to, to add the zag in there because we do it differently. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's basically how it happened. And we took the bold step of registering the trademark. Um, we wrote up the methodology. Um, and eventually we partnered with a company in the, in, based in Atlanta to sell the license for Vispro, which we, we dubbed a different name at the time. Um, and then a couple of years back, it was around about 2012 when I met Elizabeth in uh, during a, uh, a women's presence organization retreat um, in a small town close to where I live in Cape Town. Um, and uh, we started talking. And, and uh, in fact, Elizabeth had presented uh, what, what Vina Sell does. And um, at the time I went to her and I said, sure, I think we need to talk. There's, there's, there's good stuff that we could share. And we did that. Once she was back in the U.S., she said, I love what you do. I want you, I want to learn how to do it. So we did internet training for about six or eight weeks. Every week we would get together. Uh, Elizabeth did fantastically well in taking it up. She has an absolute natural feel for it. Um, and it eventually towards the middle end of last year, um, when Dawn became a, a also a, a, a part of the team in the sense of, of actually being able to use the methodology, that was the time that it was was then, let's call it USA branded as, as Tuvis. Um, and again, one of those things is you know, sometimes when, when, when something is meant to happen, it just kind of happens easily. And it was, was exactly like that. You know, it's interesting how you talked about uh, telling clients stories instead of just, you know, the technical flow charting a process. Um, and along those lines, uh, what can you tell me about, uh, now that we've brought it full circle to Dawn, Venusel, and Patank working together, can you both share with me an engagement that you both have worked on together uh, in the process of Venusel incorporating VizPro into the TrueViz process? that Venusel uses and uh, kind of share with me a client story, if you will. The, the one that I had the most uh, interaction with was uh, probably a year and a bit ago when uh, Elizabeth was actually sitting with the client in the room and uh, Justin, who is our, um, uh, he actually became our CEO of the, the CEO of one of our companies on the 1st of March. Um, he's been with, with us for just uh, over 12 years. And he was one of the first VisPro uh, practitioners that we trained up. So Justin would, would then log in at about 8 p.m. Um, South African time and Elizabeth would be with a client. Um, Elizabeth would ask the client, facilitate the, the conversation, and then Justin would would draw step-by-step step the process. Uh, we had a, probably three or four of these sessions, um, after which we had managed to, 
to develop uh, a couple of the key processes of the business. Um, and we had great feedback on, on not only the actual experience, um, but also the, the value that it immediately brings. Um, because what the client usually does is, is bring in key, uh, not, not only key, most of the, the, the stakeholders in a particular process. And it's always interesting for me in the 15 years that we've been doing this, um, how long people could be working in a space or in a process and, and pretty much just see what's happening around them. And with the way that we do the mapping and the storyboarding, it is literally there to tell the story and to see how you fit into that story. So it's always, um, I just love it when people say, wow, now, now I connect the dots. Now I see why I'm doing this particular task here because way down the line, that is the value that it actually brings. So first of all, there's, there's, there's that element of, of insight. And in this project that we did with Elizabeth um, over the internet, that was one of the key things that the client, uh, the, the CEO of the business said. It, it was great to have the entire team really understand where their responsi responsibilities lay, what their accountability is, um, and really how to direct any change within that area. So, And then the second thing that, that, that came out of that is, is that it, it did fast track some of the changes that needed to happen. Why? Because... Uh, people can see when you unpack the process the way that we do, then people can actually understand why certain changes are needed. Um, and most often those participants actually come up with the new way of doing. So your buy-in and, and your engagement um, is, is immediate. So you don't have to go back to, the, to, to a, a meeting or a conversation say, um, team, we're changing A and B and C. Um, that conversation has already taken place so so the the trajectory of of change is is actually then uh, a lot smoother and and the acceptance is good so that, that you can then immediately get the value um, out of the change that needs to happen so in that project that we did did with with Venusel, um we we did really get on both those elements very good feedback and that's 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 basically what we aim to do is to to i have a firm belief that if people understand what their role is in achieving a goal, and the goal is clear and the role is clear and the steps are clear, then I think we have a better way of working and improving things in life. So that brings me to the last question on our list was to ask you about your expansion into Belgium and what's happening uh, new with Patank. Yeah, um, that's, I must say, um, it, it is it is an absolutely wonderful opportunity. Um, the extension or the expansion is is basically um, the company that we will be joining is very much in in the groundbreaking area or in the uh, changing the world, um, challenging status quo, and uh, it is a disruptor. So it's just called it a, a key disruptor, and the disruption is is based on on matters blockchain. So how can we use the blockchain? to improve lives, to do things differently, to save resources, to, to live smarter. Um, and we've got a, a, a number of projects um, that we as Patank are supporting. So essentially what is happening is that um, our uh, skills were, were called upon um, to, to make the organization from a startup into a fast growing uh, competitor. Um, in its in its space, um, and and that's what we do. That's as I said right in the beginning. I love making things neat, creating new systems, designing processes, um, and and we're in charge of setting up the operational unit of this this uh, conglomerate, which has uh, a footprint in the U.S., in Europe, um, in Singapore, and in Hong Kong. Um, as well as in Africa, so the everything that we've we've been doing in Patong um, for clients, uh, we're putting that together and offering that service to to this uh, new new business, um, and then the the uh, end result of that is that we will uh, be offering 
the services that South Africa currently offers out of the new home uh, from Patank Europe, um, which is likely to be based in Belgium. Um, so far, everything is on track for that. Um, and when when one is in the consultant the consulting or in the, the advisory um, game, if I may, may call it that, and that's another part of why Patonk suits us so fine, because I firmly believe that life is a game um, and uh, you should enjoy what you do. The games are there to have fun with. So in, in, in this new industry that we're going into, um, we've worked in the financial industry, in the mining industry, agriculture, uh, steel industry. This is the blockchain slash new world slash IT space is, is another industry. So we have this, the, the same tools but applying it in a very, very exciting and, and fast-moving space. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it couldn't have come at a better time. We have, we have grown and established ourselves well in South Africa. We've grown well, um, and this is then the natural next step. I have always had this dream of sharing what we do across the world. So with our partnership with uh, Vina Cell, um, that is that is part of the dream come true. Now extending it into a Patank Europe, um, that's another part of the dream. Um, so what's left? New Zealand and Australia. It's interesting that you mentioned New Zealand and Australia. Are there actual plans to move beyond just what you're doing in South Africa and in Europe? Yes, we are. Um, in fact, uh, just this, the, the previous call before this one, um, we are looking at some other, some other expansion. Um, which is still under discussion, but um, that would also take us into into other very interesting regions um, and uh, combining what we do with some other experts. Um, uh, the interesting thing is that that uh, the way that companies and businesses and people demand services have changed quite a lot. Um, and and that's probably part of why why we've 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 managed to survive um, is because we are very very agile. Um, things that we did that we called for argument's sake uh, the process management in two thousand and four, and if you now call it business improvement, um, process management doesn't work anymore. So now it's business improvement. Um, so. What all goes through is process change management, project management, project delivery, um, new IT. So, so I think that one of the biggest biggest pluses for Patonk has been its ability to go with what customers and clients want. And because of that, um, we we are being noticed and we have been noticed. And uh, so we're we're on a good path. And it's it certainly hasn't been an overnight success. Um, I've been in business uh, since my early twenties. I'm not going to add numbers to that, but it's been it's been many years. So um, and and it's being there every day, noticing what happens, um, and having a fabulous team that, that that helps you execute, and having great partners. Thank you, Michelle. That is unfortunately all of the time we have today. For more information on Michelle and her company Patonk C, please visit their website at www patanqc.com. Again, that's www.petanque-c.com. For more information on VenaCell and the service provided, such as VizPro Visual Process Mapping, please visit our website at truviz.venacell.com. That's T-R-U-V-I-Z.venacell.com. Thank you all and have a wonderful day.